Well, we're back to see if gasoline is going to melt through plastic. And this is a 60 day update. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. And here's an update on our little garage experiment with gasoline in plastic containers. And uh, I've had this sitting here in my garage for 60 days. Uh, it's time to in this experiment because I just don't need gasoline sitting around especially in some of these containers you know I'm not concerned about it in this plastic bottle I can leave it in that bottle for a year I'm not worried about it the bottle doesn't feel any softer than it did when it had water in it it's fine um, is it recommended to store gasoline in a plastic bottle like this probably not but if you need to feel free our Ziploc bag has been in here and there might be just the slightest hint of some leakage in there. Now, I think there's been evaporation or maybe it has permeated through the plastic, but nothing has melted. Now, it, this wasn't perfectly clean gasoline. This was some that I had drained out of a tank, so it maybe had a little bit of stuff in it, but you can see there's some in the bottom of that. But for some reason in these plastic containers it's really separated out so is it eating through the plastic is the plastic causing this or what exactly there was more gasoline in this bag so I don't know if it's evaporating out somehow it's not, it's not leaking the bag is not wet and there was no evidence in the bottom of here like you can see there's tiny tiny bit of wetness there so if for some reason all you had was say a gallon Ziploc bag to transport some gas to a buddy who needed a gallon to get off the highway, I would say to do it rather than, you know, being stuck. Is this a good long-term solution? No, it's not. Now this is the cellophane bag. And there you can definitely see some has leaked through here, but if you look at my first video, which of course I'm going to post a link here for you, you'll see this one was kind of leaking a little bit to start with. It's still in there. This bag isn't dissolved. It's not dissolved at all. It's leaking through here somewhere, but I think if I picked out a couple of these bags and uh, you know carefully opened them, this was off of a microwave popcorn. So this is kind of like that rigid plastic bag once again if you had to transport gasoline somewhere to get someone off the highway do it this will work so with all that said what what do we have uh, to prove that gasoline you know is going to eat through if it's not going to eat through these plastic bottles like all the internet experts say it will or plastic bags you know I had a if in my original video I had a trash bag it held okay I mean what did I do a week or so 10 days I can't remember what I did on the initial video but I wanted to check a few other things out I got some styrofoam here I've heard that gasoline will eat right through that and here's some that I found when I was uh, running the other day this is a little bit older so We'll break a couple pieces of that off and a couple pieces of that. I found this foam rubber ball when I was running. And um, my asphalt driveway is breaking up. I'm going to grab a little piece of that asphalt because I've heard that gasoline will eat through asphalt. So I'm going to get a couple of these containers. We'll put, I'll put some fresh gasoline in it. And uh, we will see if it eats through some of this stuff. I'm going to cut this rubber ball probably into like half. It's not rubber, this is kind of like foam. So I'm gonna cut that in half. We'll, yeah, we'll cut it in half, put that in gasoline. I'll put maybe that much in some gasoline and I'll break a chunk of this fresh stuff off here too. And we'll put that in some gasoline and a chunk of asphalt. At the going rate of gasoline, these uh, experiments are getting more expensive, but uh, Hey, I'm here for you, YouTube viewers. We have 
some kind of aged styrofoam, some new styrofoam, half of a foam ball, and a chunk of asphalt. So, ooh, look at that. Well, that answers that. I like that one. It's gone. That is gone. Let's see what happens to the new stuff. That's kind of fun. Okay, so a styrofoam cup. I wish I would have had a styrofoam cup actually to try this with. That would have been kind of neat. Look at the difference between the old stuff that I picked up on the street that had been sitting in the sun for how long. There's just kind of a molten glob left in there. Let's see what happens here with this foam. Ooh, look at that. Expando. Ooh, that's an expensive pour. Well, I guess it's just soaking it up, but uh, let's let that sit for a minute. We'll put some on this asphalt. I should have washed that first, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that's just dirt or if the asphalt's dissolving. The asphalt's made out of what, like tar? I'm not a chemical engineer, chemical composition engineer, whatever, but all right, I'm going to uh, set the camera down and grab myself like a pro, well, hang on here, I got right behind me. Keep an eye on that for me. I'm going to grab my screwdriver and uh, we'll do a little bit of probing here. I don't know if the gasoline is eating through this or if it's just soaked up gasoline and expanded. I guess I could um, put this other half in water and see if it does anything. And that styrofoam its kind of like a little booger. I think if I stir it enough, it'll uh, completely dissolve. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's what we have remaining. You know, a real scientist here probably would have weighed this before. But, I think what I'm going to do is we'll just leave these two. I'll set those aside and I'll set a timer and we'll check on them and see what they look like. It's only been about 15 minutes and I can definitely see that this asphalt is falling apart. Now, this is old asphalt, don't get it wrong, but see how much of that's come off of there already? And uh, this original piece here is considerably smaller. I think another 15 minutes and we're just going to be broke down to the rocks and bits inside of there. So yes, the gasoline does dissolve asphalt. Now whether or not it dissolves fresh asphalt, well, I can't verify that. But this old asphalt, it certainly does. I mean, look at the, look at the color of that. Now I made a, a test one here. This is just water. Nothing's happening with that. I pushed it in here, tried to get it to soak up water. It's not really not really doing it. It'll soak it up a little bit, but it doesn't expand like this one in the gasoline did with this foam ball. Now whether or not it's falling apart, look at the size of that thing in comparison. 
we'll let that one soak and we'll see what happens to it. Surprised at how quickly this asphalt's deteriorating. It's been about 30 minutes and I think, I think we've pretty much dissolved this asphalt into just a slurry of rocks and goo. If there's anything that's still stuck together at all, it might be a couple of these rocks, but not much. Like that chunk right there looks like it might just barely be hanging on. 30 minutes. Gasoline and asphalt do not mix. Interesting. So if you have an asphalt gas can, I don't recommend using it. Maybe a foam ball one is better. Two hours in with the uh, foam. I don't know. The screwdriver is going through it pretty easy now. Let's compare that to the test one here. This is in water. Yeah, you can see the screwdriver's not just poking through here or slicing through. Whereas in this one, in the gasoline, it just goes right into it. So it's deteriorating it. Yeah, look at that. I can just kind of like, it's falling apart. It's not melting per se, but it's deteriorating it. So we'll let that go for a little while longer and see. I also got some of this soft kind of foam stuff you get like on the corners when you buy furniture. So let me get a little bit of gasoline and we'll put a little bit, put a little bit in here with a piece of this and see what happens to this. It's tougher than I thought. Here we go. I was expecting it to just melt, kind of like that styrofoam did. It's floating though. I think this is going to be kind of similar to that um, foam ball there. Okay, well, I'll write down the time that that went in, and we'll keep an eye on that, too, and just see what happens. Well, that's interesting. It looks like this thing has kind of soaked up the gasoline. Weird. Oh, yeah. Look, it's just like a sponge. It doesn't seem to be eating up that soft foam, so that's interesting. And, oh yeah, that's, uh, what, two hours after I put it in there? And this is just kind of falling apart. But it's not disintegrating. We can leave it in overnight and take a look at it in the morning or something. See what happens. Well, here we are. It's been a little bit more than 24 hours. And, uh, looks like this thing has maybe soaked up gasoline out of here. And uh, it's not really disintegrating, but it, it's kind of falling apart. So I imagine this will disintegrate if I leave it long enough. I thought this was kind of interesting. That asphalt, the, the gasoline kind of all evaporated off of it. I set this outside of my garage. And it, it wasn't that hot yesterday, but... Really interesting, just turned it into goo. But that's our, oh, and there's that piece there. So that's pretty much our update with the plastic bags, plastic containers, and then a few other things that we've tried. So a little bit more fun in the garage, messing around with gasoline and seeing what we could destroy with it. Of course, you know, Safety first, don't do this at home. I'm not a trained professional, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. If you're liking my content, give me a thumbs up. 
leave a comment down below and if you're not already a subscriber please consider doing so thank you very much for watching get out there and find your adventure adios